And we are here with the nine cards playing spades, man himself. Human Guapo, how are you, sir? All right, now another guy. Human Guapo in the building. Building in me. Four way music group. Elite music group. Four hundred studios. Make sure you get your book and shit. Man, who shots you behind the scenes? Represent. Yeah. Definitely do that. Represent. I feel you. It's okay. Human Guapo. We're actually not playing space today. We're playing something real simple. Real simple, I hope. For him, he's safe. How old are you? 24 years of old. Mm -hmm. January 24. 24. Aquarius game. Aquarius. Shout out to Aries, though. Aquarius game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah shout out to all you guys. <laughs> 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 Oh man. Alright. Uh what size shirt do you wear, Mmm. A lot. Two X, but I prefer to get three X. Two X. Yeah, not fooling me, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You just got out of that four X. You're feeling yourself. Yeah. Probably be one next week. Everybody needs space, man. Everybody needs space. So, uh, what happened with the lottery boys? Sure go to by the way. Shit. Just a lot of shit. Disagreements. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of terms. A lot of people wasn't getting paid correctly. A lot of people went on with their own lives. I'm tired of it. You know? I feel you. I feel you. So you like being dolo versus being in a group? Yeah, pretty much, so. Feel that. What made you want to be a part of Elite Music Group? Shit. Elite Music Group taking off, man. Yeah. My bro QPs. I basically been putting in the work. I said, shit. I see a spot in there for me, so I took it. I seen it was there. It was yeah. my side, so I took it. Yeah, I don't know who QPZ is, man, but Quite we'll have, to meet, we have to meet one day. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how old were you when you first started frying chicken? <laughs> Sixteen, seventeen, 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 sixteen, seventeen. You were six. You <laughs> were six. You were six, man. I don't nah. think I don't think you learned how to fry chicken that old, man. I think you was young with them chickens, man. Nah, I ain't never worked at a fast food restaurant. I heard that you fires, were, you know. I heard that you were six fried chicken. Whoever you heard you that way from is wrong. You were way too that wrong. You were way too advanced with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I was in the middle. Yeah. Chicken, chicken dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Do you think you smoke too much? Nah. I don't smoke enough, honestly. Damn, what's enough? I probably be like two blunts a day. That's it. Is that enough for you? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. My tolerance ain't high. Just like, I pull up. This all I need right here. Pull up. And I'm good for it. Two days. So, well, I know. Seven days. Bro. So how do you explain when smoking like six or ten blunts in the club? That's like three days worth. Yeah. And I just won't smoke for the next, you know? Three days, four days. I think you like smoking other niggas shit. You ain't gonna smoke all your <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like smoking other niggas <coughs> sometimes too. I do it. So what makes you different from everyone else? Shit, sure, I'd probably say... I'm humble, shit, I've been hearing that since probably I've been a G. I'm still hearing it to this day. A lot of people be arrogant, cocky. Assholes. Yeah, bougie. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Beaches. <laughs> Funky beaches. Shout out to my man, Smack Water. Okay. So, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Maybe your car playing skills? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> nothing. It wouldn't be nothing. I wouldn't have changed nothing about me. Even my car playing schools. Because I believe everything that I know I know for a reason. And you know what I'm saying? I don't know what the hell. You throwing all type of shit down, man. No, no, I'm staying in that suit, brother. And you're just holding on. <coughs> holding on. Um, okay. So, when you finally achieve your goals, what do you plan on doing next? When you finally make it, what's next? What you want to do? Move my family out of the hood. That's the first thing. That's what we're going to do next when I finally get home. And you think they're going to feel safe around those white people, don't you? Yeah. I don't. I do. I don't feel safe around niggas neither. <laughs> I don't feel safe around animals. I don't feel safe in the water and somebody else's property. So can't get mad if a shark eats you in this fucking living room. But um Right. Okay. Yeah, I feel that um you know my pocket get moving on. Who's one person that you feel you owe? My mom and myself. You know, you said one about my mom. One about my mom first. Yeah, I feel like my mama too. I feel she owes me too. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> what would you rather do besides music? And I don't mean doing as in pursuing. I mean as in real time. Like if you could be doing it, you already did. Being a weedologist. Like, like a a girl, like a, yeah, a person who think about the weed. Oh, the one in the house. With yeah, the with the girl and yeah. seeing what type of, how much THC in it, how much yeah. CBD. Okay. What's the strain, how long it takes. You want to get to know the weed. Yeah. In and out. Yeah. Quick story. I went to Denver one year and I stayed with some Latin kings for the weekend. And this was before the weed was recreational, it was medicinal. So they was allowed to grow inside their house in the basement. That's where I slept at for the weekends with a bunch of pines. High as a guy. Didn't know if I was coming or going. But <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, good. Great career choice. Um Are you willing to squash beef to save lives? Personally, I don't got no beef, but... You don't have any beef? I don't. No, no beef? None. No turkey? No nothing. No chicken. I just be going ham, man. But I, I do know. a lot as well. I find that shit hard to believe, because, man, a lot of you young guys, man, I don't know, man. It just seems like violence is like, just the big thing in this era. I don't know. Niggas just envy. Jealous. Yeah. They're envying the wrong people. Tell them, it's white people living way better if you want to be mad at someone. I'm not saying you should hurt anyone, but I don't know. Right. I guess the same person who's going to be in the same situation as you, but I uh, just want to make any sense. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, do you know how hard it is to be a black male? Yes. I do know how hard it is to be a black male. It's just and I know how hard it is for a black female. Yeah, it's hard for them too. I'm young, so I'm just, I'm seeing the beginning. Are you willing to stay the fuck out of the way? I'm willing to be in the house by eight. Every night, yeah. Good boy. <laughs> even if I got a show, even if I got a show, I'm going to be, you know, home at a decent time. I can do it. I think you're cap. <laughs> but anyway, this is Quell's. With the non cards playing man himself, he me wobble. Mm, you know what it is. Next time bring me someone who play fucking cards. <laughs> Four way music group, man. Elite music group, man. Who shot you behind the cameras, man? Four way studios, man. The GA. Make sure you get your book in right now. Fuck what you talking about. I don't play no cards. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah.